Hi everybody, today is August 7th, 2013. Evidently, Voice of Russia got a hold of Arnold Gunderson and got his assessment of what's going on there at Fukushima. It says here, there is no way to stop Fukushima radioactive water leaking into the Pacific. The rate at which contaminated water has been pouring into Pacific Ocean from the disabled Fukushima nuclear power plant is worse than thought before. An industrial ministry official said Wednesday as Prime Minister Sunzu Abe pledged to step up efforts to halt the crisis. The Voice of Russia contacted Arnold Gunderson, founder and president of Fairwinds Associates, to discuss the crisis and the possible solutions. The experts suggest radioactive material will continue to leak into the global seas unless the plant is surrounded with a trench filled with zeolite. Even then, however, toxic material will enter the Pacific through underwater sources. And that's only going to create another problem, he says. Is it possible to somehow make the waste water storage basin waterproof and thus rule out leakage? The horse is already out of the barn there. This plant has been leaking for two years and finally now the radioactive water has made it to the ocean. By my experience with underground water is that if it's serious at the ocean, it's more serious as you move away from the ocean. So spike of radiation continues to move to the ocean. The Japanese are proposing putting in a barrier to prevent the water from entering the ocean. That is two years too late. It will be too late by the time they construct that barrier. But the barrier also causes another problem. If the water can't go anywhere into the Pacific Ocean, it's going to build up on site, which means that the nuclear reactors themselves will become unstable. The water can pool underneath the nuclear buildings, and if there's an earthquake, in fact, the nuclear buildings could topple. So by solving one problem, they are creating another problem. Is it possible to somehow avoid that scenario? The solution that I proposed two years ago was to surround the plant with a trench filled with a material called zeolite. It's just like the volcanic ash. The volcanic ash is very good at absorbing radiation. But the solution isn't to keep the water from getting out. The solution is to keep the water from getting in. So, outside the trench that they surround the plant, if they pull the water level down, the clean water outside the trench that would prevent further water from leaking into the Daiichi site. The Japanese haven't been willing to spend the money. I approached them two years ago with this and I was told that the Tokyo Electric doesn't have the money to spend. But of course the problem is now that we are contaminating the Pacific Ocean which is extraordinarily serious. Is there anything that can be done with that? I mean with the ocean? Frankly, I don't believe so. I think we will continue to release radioactive material into the ocean for 20 or 30 years at least. They have to pump the water out of the area surrounding the nuclear reactor. But frankly, this water is the most radioactive water I've ever experienced. I worked directly over a nuclear reactor course during refueling outages. And when the water directly over the nuclear reactor core when the plant is operating is a thousand times less radioactive than this water. So there is an extraordinary amount of water and even if they build the wall, groundwater enter the Pacific through underwater sources. It doesn't have to run off the top of the surface into the Pacific. It can enter underwater sources as well. Domestically, do you expect the latest disclosure about Fukushima to delay decisions on reactivating Japanese nuclear power plants? I think it should. I think the big problem is the Japanese government has not been honest with the people about the cost to clean up Yachi. I think the cost to clean up just the site is going to be 100 billion dollars and the cost to clean up the prefecture of Fukushima is going to be another 400 billion. The Japanese government hasn't told the people that they are on the hook for a half a trillion dollars. And I think if the Japanese people understood the magnitude of the damage a nuclear plant can create, they'd have a second thought about starting up the remaining nuclear plants because it could happen elsewhere. This is the most seismic place on the planet and to build a nuclear plant there is rather foolish.
So it's going to continue to leak into the ocean for at least, if not longer, than 20 to 30 years. And to clean up this mess at this point, it's only going to cost about a half a trillion dollars. And they're never going to stop the radioactive waste from leaking into the Pacific. Well, I guess you can forget about ever eating anything that comes from the ocean. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.